reportedly encouraging him to stay the course, stay in the race after the devastating debate performance the other night. First Lady Jill Biden on the cover of the new issue of Vogue. There is the Annie Leibovitz photo telling the magazine that the family, quote, will not let those 90 minutes define the four years he's been president. We will continue to fight. President Biden will always do what is best for the country. But a Democratic National Committee member who was on a call with the DNC in the Biden campaign this weekend tells the AP this, quote, there were a number of things that could have been said in addressing the situation, but we didn't get that. We were being gaslit. Let's bring in GOPAC chairman David Abella and Fox News contributor Richard Fowler. Good to have both of you uh, with us. Uh, Richard, let me start with you. Obviously, there's division among Democrats about the best course forward. Um, do you think that when... when when the First Lady says, we will continue to fight, we'll always do what's best for the country, are those two things necessarily in sync, in your opinion? I think that's the question a lot of folks are asking, asking themselves mm -hmm. today. It's very clear that the Biden team at this point in time plans to keep the president in this race because only he can make that decision. Uh, and I think the mechanics here are really important. The ideal of him leaving the ticket at this point and what the party would have to do to, to launch a new ticket would indeed be problematic and there might not be enough time for it. But I do think this opens up an opportunity for the president, Martha. There's so many good governors out there, many of the folks we've talked about on this air before, right, who can go out and begin to talk about what the Biden administration has done in their states and what they've done with the Biden administration. Case in point, Westmore and the bridge collapse. And now that, that channel is now open and the port of Baltimore is open, something that we could talk about as a way to show the president working and his surrogates helping him do that. Well, yes, um, but the question is, can he, can he function? in the job and can he function as, as president, regardless of what has been done or not done in the past? I mean, that, that, that's a real, it's a real question, Richard, isn't it? No, it's most definitely a real question, I think. And this is, we're at the point and stage in this campaign after the primary elections have already been, after those votes have already been casted, mm -hmm. that only the president can make this decision. Nobody else can. Well, that's true. Um, David, is, well, I guess, is that the case completely? Um, there are some who question whether or not other measures might be taken if the president, as the New York Post says today, is only um, alert and focused on the job from 10 to 4. I mean, this is a job, you know, I remember those, remember the ads about the 3 a.m. call? Who will answer the 3 a.m. call? That's a pretty important phone call. It doesn't happen between 10 and 4. It absolutely is. Martha, who would have thought that this week we thought we'd be talking about who Trump was going to put on the ticket, not is Joe Biden going to stay on the ticket? Let's keep in mind, this is not new. Dean Phillips warned Democrats about this. Robert Kennedy tried to uh, get Democrats to rally around someone else. And for all the Democrats who are now calling for Joe Biden to step down and not run for re-election, why wait? If the reason you now believe he should not be the nominee is because he is not fit to be president, then why not call on him to resign right now? The Democrats aren't going to do this. The reality is they got the candidate they wanted. They got the Republican nominee they wanted. They got the debate they wanted when they wanted it. And now they're like, oh, my gosh, what are we going to do? Yeah. I, I want to play this from James Clyburn, who obviously played a pivotal role in the first time that President Biden ran in terms of, you know, bolstering support for him in South Carolina. And it turned the tide and got him the nomination. But here's what he's saying now. Watch this. He should stay in this race. If you're going to have another debate, uh, the preparation for that debate. Uh, needs to be different. I still believe in Joe Biden. Do there need to be changes? Yes. Managing him. Management to his schedule. Changes maybe even to those around him. Richard, I, I'm just not clear. It sounds like people are blaming Anita Dunn and Bob Bauer for the for the debate preparation that it was you know too micromanaged and they, they jammed him with statistics and that he wasn't able to pivot and all of that stuff but th that may be true uh, maybe it was a bad you know debate prep but to perform like that the only thing that's going to erase that is if he's a totally different person in september at that debate richard do you agree or not Listen, I think you, you raise a valid point. I think what we saw the next day in that rally in North Carolina was a different president, right? All we saw some. 
Sure, but even if we talk about the State of the Union address, we've seen a number of instances oh, where her. we've also seen the president joust with the press. I mean, in the State of the Union, he jousted with members of the Republican Party off prompter. So I think there's a what I'm trying to say here is there's no question that, that was a bad 90 minutes. He wasted 70 minutes of that trying to find his footing, right? And I think we could all acknowledge that. I think, but also we know that there's an, un, we've seen the other president the next day. And the question is which of those presidents we're going to get in September and voters are going to have to determine, is, is this enough for them to vote for him? Yeah, David Avella, you know, there are Republicans talking about the 25th Amendment. Uh, like I said, you know, a, a, an excellent debate in September might wipe all of that away, but they don't have till September. They have till August 7th when they have to begin this process of, of officially nominating him before the convention. Most importantly, what do voters think about? In polling, I've seen since the debate, four-point uh, lead for Trump, 10 points in Pennsylvania, three points in Wisconsin. And even if it were Trump versus Kamala Harris, Donald Trump still wins by two. Voters are saying it's time to go a new direction. Well, we, all, we, we know what makes a change in the primary process, and that's when the donors start to go away. Um, and you're right. The polls are going to be very significant in the coming days. Richard Fowler, thank you. David Avella, thank you. Great to see thank you both. You.